Yes then guys, how are you doing? My name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel for a player view based around the brand new shapeshifters, Herving Lozano. This man has a soft spot in my heart. Last year, I had his 84 team of the week. As a red player pick, he was my super sub for majority of the whole game. And he was bagging goals for fun. Ridiculously fun card to use. And EA super juiced him a treat. And fortunately not 5 star, 5 star. I was expecting at least 5 star skills. But we do have the 5 star weak foot, which is nice. 5 foot 9, high low work rates. And the stats themselves, pretty damn impressive. He's going to be quick. You expect that with a Lozano card. The dribbling stats, ridiculously good. 95 is the lowest across the board. He's going to feel quick on the ball. And should be able to carry the ball at pace. And it's going to be glued to the feet of his. Finishing. Very, very solid. I honestly didn't expect them to super juice the shooting this much, but it is a striker card, of course. Originally, he is a winger, so it is nice that he has the, the capabilities or the attributes, at least, to play in that striking role. Link-up play with the passing should be pretty much a reliable. Stamina is there, strength is a little bit on the low side, and aggression, so he may get bullied occasionally. You expect that. He's 5'9". You know, it happens. Uh, very similar to Insigne, for example. And I'm pretty certain this man's body type is the meta ratty body type that we like to see in FIFA. Outside the foot shot as well, ridiculously nice card and only an 86 and an 85 squad needed for him. Fodder has gone up recently, but still, I think that's a pretty decent price and I would say he's probably 100% worth it without even trying the card out as of yet. But we're going to hop into foot champs qualifiers, guys. He's going to be a striker alongside Richarlison. Let's see how good he is. All right, what is my opponent rocking with then? He's got a regular Mbappe. Wow. I mean... It is regular Mbappe in June, but still, the man is a demon. What's great about Lozano as well is he gets a strong link to Insigne. If you're ever struggling to get Insigne in on chemistry, I mean, it's probably uh, quite easy to get him in with all the insane Italian cards that have been released recently with the Shapeshifter promo, the end of an era SBCs, Tenali team of the season. Like, there's so many cracked out cards. But if you're struggling, Lozano is a nice, easy way in as well. Let's get the ball up to him. First touch. Oh, boys. Okay, he's been beaten by Quadrado there, but initially the acceleration, he looks lively. All right, Lozano, give and go. Let's get him bombing in behind. Utilize that pace as much as we can. I like the movement there. Very, very nice. Little ball roll inside here. Ball in. Richarlison. Somehow, some way, we didn't squeeze that through. We still got it, though. Anything's possible here, boys. Keep the composure. Rich. Richard. What are you playing at, Richard. Mate, Klaus is taking a tumble there. Lozano should have the legs. He should have the legs and he does. This is where you can get super sweaty and ratty with him. As I've said that, I've run off the pitch. It's a little bit awkward. <sighs> One memory I do have of Lozano though. FIFA 20, FIFA 21, even FIFA 19, I'm pretty certain. Um, was it FIFA 20, boys, where he had... Where was he playing? What was it? Somewhere in the Eredivisie. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty certain he was playing in the Dutch League. Um, but he had a ridiculous card on FIFA. And I remember him being dubbed as the initial quote-unquote FIFA rat. Him and Ben Yedder pretty much have the title to themselves. As my man is styling on me right now. Um, but I loved his cards in previous FIFAs, man. And it's nice to see him getting recognition this year around. I'm pretty certain he has had a special card this year. Uh, but it was a long, long time ago. So about time we got an updated version. So dribbling does feel really nice. The acceleration is noticeable. The body type's brilliant. Close control as well with the RB dribbling. I like what I see. Nice bit of pass up to uh, to Zhao. We've gone through the legs of the man there. He's bombing forwards. And there's the goal. Insigne on the score sheet. Is that going to be a rage quick? Come on now, fellows 11. We take those. Game number two. Wow. Wow. Gio Reyna. Who remembers that card? I honestly completely forgot about it. To be fair, by this time... Uh, the numbers up cards should have their finished stats, right? The final upgrades. I uh, honestly don't know. EA, the promo was good, but could have been better in my opinion. Maybe he's subbing him out. He's using it for chemistry, but I'm not too sure. But we need to beat the one assist we got in game number one. Can we get a goal? Can we get Chuki on the score sheet? Let's see if we can make it happen. Boys, look at the pace of these two. It's this stage of FIFA, man. You could just have the quickest players... Honestly, everybody's got like 99 pace in my team, essentially. It's mad. Uh, but Spinner's on the score sheet. That's not Hervin Lozano, though. Nice, Ruben. We move now, boys. We move. Insigne. Up to his Napoli teammate. Well, ex-Napoli teammate now, obviously, because uh, uh, as this, uh, Insigne is going to be in the MLS next season. Uh, as well as Gareth Bale, by the way. So MLS fans out there, uh, you're going to be loving it. 
some big names head into your uh, to your uh, country and your league, which is going to be awesome to see. Uh, but I need to focus up, boys. My man's dangerous. Haaland, similar with Vlahovic. And there's something about them, boys. I just can't defend them. And there's the goal. Haaland on the score sheet. Yeah. With Charleston. We're in space. Di Maria Lozano's lurking in the middle. Perfectly weighted pass. And he finds the finish. That's decent. I'm going to lie. The pass was behind him. He adjusted his feet, uh, feet nicely and caresses it into the far corner. We take those boys. Goal number one. Hopefully it's floodgate season. Oof. See you later, boys. Kunde, Klaus out the game. Instantly ball roll. Finesse it. Did they take a deflection? I'm not too sure. But that was pure pace. My opponent's had enough. I don't blame him. Another rage quit in the bag. Let's get on to game number three. All right, what are we up against then? I see plenty of icons and some ridiculous team of the seasons. My Don Patrick coming up. Lozano on the counter attacks is going to be dangerous. That ball from Richarlison's class. The touch is brilliant. But I've been bullied. I've been bullied by Zanetti. Uh, this almost lost uh, lost control of it, unfortunately. And the physical sides, you can get bullied. That's what you expect with this card. Um, but I probably should have bet a little bit better myself. Nice movement from Lozano there. Kind of drifting inside. I like it. He's positioned himself well. The power's there, but the accuracy's lacking it. Lozano out of his feet, Richarlison. Let's recycle it. Get out of wide to this man, João Cancelo. I like that, boys. It's a nice bit of play, lads. Lozano's in a decent position. The touch is there, and that is a lovely finish. Great little team goal from the boys. Lozano caps it off with the goal. Brilliant positioning, composure as well, and the finish is there. What more do you need? Love that. Movement's good. Touch is decent. But he's been bullied. He's been bullied by Kuna. Kind of wanted him to get off the box a little bit quicker there. Um, but yeah, the physical side. When he's neck and neck against somebody who's physical like a Kuna, for example, he's going to struggle. Even with a chem style that boosts the physical stats, yeah, you're definitely going to notice it, boys. Go on. Lozano. Brilliant touch. The pace is there. Is the finish there as well? It isn't. I went for the finesse shot. Maybe tip my time. Rush didn't really rush it in the end. I kind of took too much time uh, when I really should have made a better decision. Uh, but the movement in behind was quality. Can we punish him? Oh, mate. The pace. Oh, go on. And we will keep going. Take the advantage because Zana's free kicks are, uh, are not ideal. Lozano, and there's two boys. Another one, hat-trick is on the cards. So we end up with three goals, one assist in the three matches played. Overall, a fantastic performance for this card. I'm gonna dub him instantly as the best super sub in the game. I mean, he's starter worthy. He should be in your starter team, but if he isn't, he will be the best super sub on your team, 100% lads. I mean, unless you're, your team's ridiculous and you have like R9 and all kinds of crazy players on the bench. But the pace, insane. He feels lightning fast, rivaling Insigne. Insigne, because of his size and his body type, feels really quick on the ball. Lozano, basically carbon copy. If anything, quicker. Like you saw him blitz the likes of Koundé and Klaus with ridiculous pace stats. Uh, the only issue with him is the physicals. Like, he gets bullied a little bit. There's like two or three times where he got muscled off the ball. Finishing, ridiculously clinical. The composure's there. He should bad goals for you in that department. And just a crazy, crazy card, man. Only unfortunate thing as well, where's the five-star skills EA? I'm pretty certain his regular card has the four-star. So EA could have given him the five-star, five-star, but it wasn't meant to be. Either way, in my opinion, I'm going to give it a big thumbs up. 9.5 out of 10. Price? 
Could have been a little bit cheaper, but let's not be picky about it. Fodder is the reason why it's a little bit on the expensive side. I think we're still looking at about 210K, which is pretty decent. I would say the car probably would be that price on the market as well. There's a lot of hype around him, so it's a W. Uh, in games, quality, quality player. And he would definitely be in my weekly team this weekend. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, boys. Subscribe if you're new. On the road to 7K, drop me a like if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you later.